Hi, I'm Tim Casey with Thomas Goldcamp from Commonwealth Stadium here in Lexington, Kentucky, reporting from the Gators' win against the Wildcats, 48 to 10 tonight. Thomas, what were your initial thoughts of the game? Well, Florida did a great job rushing the football tonight. They almost racked up 400 yards of total rushing and really didn't have any problem running all over the Kentucky defense. Uh, Jeff Demps had an 84-yard touchdown run, uh, which was the longest for Florida since Emmett Smith ran 196 yards against Mississippi State back in 1988. So obviously Florida did its job, what they wanted to do running, uh, executing at the line of scrimmage. The defensive performance for the Gators tonight to hold the Wildcats to 10 points, but to get those turnovers. Uh, what were your thoughts about that and what Coach Muschamp and the players said afterwards? Right. I think I think that was the most important thing for Florida. Uh, John Bostic told us after the game that Florida hit a goal of four turnovers coming in. They met that goal, forced two fumbles, and came up with two interceptions. Um, and they really did it at key points in the game, too, where uh, you know it was just a real momentum changer for the Gators. And uh, what about the status of John Brantley? He left the game uh, but went back in. Right. Uh, Brantley left the game, took a, took a late shot uh, by Danny Trevathan uh, on a third down play, um, went back to the locker room, got checked out. Uh, Will Muschamp said that it was mainly precautionary. They just wanted to get him in before the halftime and get a little longer look at him. Brantley said he's perfectly okay, just had the wind knocked out of him, and he came back later in the game, so he looked fine. Well, next week the Gators will be playing Alabama at 3.30 p.m. On, on CBS. What were the players and Coach Muschamp saying after the game about that? Well, interestingly enough, uh, Florida kind of played that game up a lot last year, and uh, that's not really the approach they're taking this week. Uh, Omar Hunter, in, in particular, told us that uh, he almost feels like he put too much pressure on himself in that game. And so the approach this year has been take every opponent the same, um, and that's what he and the rest of the Florida players will be trying to do against Alabama this week. Okay. Reporting from Lexington, Kentucky, I'm Tim Casey along with Thomas Goldcamp for GatorCountry.com.